pronouns. They've been haunting you since elementary school. But I bet there are some rules to the game that you've probably forgotten, which is why I'm here. In this lesson, we'll do a thorough review covering the rules of pronouns and the use of the subjective and objective cases. Pronouns are words that replace and refer to nouns. For example, Anya must be the smartest girl in class since she is always setting the curve. In this sentence, she is a pronoun referring to Anya. It allows us to write the sentence without stating Anya's name twice. Pronouns are simple, but remember, when it comes to pronouns, there are very specific rules the SAT will test you on. First of all, it's important to make sure that the pronoun always agrees in number with the noun. So if the noun is plural, like the players, you cannot replace it with a singular pronoun, she. A plural noun, like the players, needs a plural pronoun, like they. Similarly, a singular noun, like the teacher, would be replaced with a singular pronoun, like he. Noun and pronoun agreement is pretty simple. But be careful, because everyday speech often interchanges plural and singular pronouns incorrectly, so errors can be tough to spot. The next pronoun rule to pay attention to is the pronoun case. That is, whether the pronoun is a subject or an object. The subjective case pronoun acts as the subject of the sentence or preposition. Subjective pronouns are he, she, I, it, they, we, and you. Andy loves chocolate cake and milk. He loves chocolate cake and milk. This is an example of the subjective case, where the subject, Andy, is replaced by the subjective case pronoun, he. The objective case pronoun acts as the object of a sentence or a preposition and receives the action of the verb. Objective case pronouns include her, him, it, me, them, us, and you. James told Sarah the secret, and James told her the secret. In this sentence, secret is the direct object. Sarah is the indirect object. She is being told the secret. So the objective case pronoun, her, replaces Sarah. All right, so far we've gone through pronoun agreements and pronoun cases, all of which are pretty straightforward. But pronouns can get tricky when you have to decide between the words I and me. Let's review. Everyone went to the football game except Daniel and I. Or, everyone went to the football game except Daniel and me. Which is correct. In this situation, Daniel and me is the correct choice. It goes back to whether we need a subjective or objective pronoun. I is used in place of the subject of a sentence, and me is used to replace an object of a preposition. Do you remember prepositions? A prepositional phrase is a modifying phrase consisting of a preposition and its object. So in the case of everyone went to the football game except Daniel and me, to the football game is the preposition, and Daniel and me is the object which is why me is correct instead of I. If the sentence read, Daniel and I didn't go to the football game, then I would be correct instead of, Daniel and me didn't go to the football game. So, what do you do if you can't tell whether you're working with a prepositional phrase or a sentence, and whether you need I or me? Don't worry, here's a pro tip to help you choose between me and I. Subtracting the other person from the phrase or sentence will simplify the choice for you. So. Everyone went to the football game except Daniel and I or me becomes everyone went to the football game except I or me. This should become apparent to you that I is incorrect. You wouldn't write everyone went to the football game except I. Subtracting the other person should make it sound to you that everyone went to the football game except me is correct. Okay, let's check out an SAT example. Everyone on the debate team, including Emma and I, was stuck on the bus for more than two hours. Our answer choices are different versions of the underlined part of the sentence, Emma and I was. So let's take a look and see what we can find. Our subject is everyone. So let's drop Emma from the sentence to see how the pronoun I sounds. Everyone on the debate team, including I. That doesn't sound good. How about everyone on the debate team, including me. That's much better. The subject of this sentence is everyone, not I. So we need to use the objective form of the pronoun me. Let's look at the answer choices and cross off everything that contains the pronoun I. So answer choices A and B are wrong. Cross them out. Okay, we're left with answer choices C and D. So what's the difference between them? Was versus were. One is singular, I was, and the other is plural, they were. So which do we need? Well, let's check the subject-verb agreement. 
the subject of our sentence is everyone. And as we'll learn in the next lesson, everyone is a singular pronoun, so it requires a singular verb. And that means answer choice C is correct. We've covered a lot in this lesson, so go over it as much as you need to until you feel confident in identifying pronoun errors. Remember to pay attention to pronoun agreements and cases, as well as the use of I or me. You'll be well on your way to perfect pronoun usage.